Hi, I'm Vesna Jacob and my Pilates journey had started some 12 years ago and it gives me immense pleasure to be the one to set you onto your Pilates journey. Um, whenever we talk about Pilates, how to start, what is the perfect way to start? Um, the best way is to get you first into comfortable position. What I always, even after so many years, the very first thing I always do is I just close my eyes for a few seconds and I just internalize my movement. Just try to see if there is any pain in my body, does, is there any stress in the body. If you're not comfortable sitting cross-legged, then you can get yourself in a comfortable lying position and just spend a few seconds, it doesn't take more than that, just to scan your body from within. This is going to serve three purposes. The first one is that it's going to start already focusing your mind on what is to come. And Pilates you can't do if your mind is not fully focused. The second part is that you will already start to connect your mind and your body. And uh, that is the second principle. And you will start concentrating and you will start uh, internalizing and noticing what happens with your body. The next thing we are doing, we will get to lie down on the floor, get yourself comfortable with the knees bent. I usually use always, uh, this is the 90 degrees, so we put the foot down, bring it in to some 80 degrees. So there is the same difference from the midline of my knee to the bottom and the midline to the heel. We place the hands in the triangle position, so right here. Lie down, make sure your shoulders are relaxed. And we are just starting with the light pelvic rolls. When doing a pelvic rolls, make sure that you're not extending and arching your upper back. So press the, press the spine down, the area between the shoulder blades, and we are just focusing on the pelvic rolls. The purpose of this exercise is to increase the mobility of the pelvis and at the same time, in case you have any stress, any discomfort, any aches and pains, it's going to give you a sign so that way you already know that there is something you need to deal with and you can stop your movement before you go into the danger zone. Once we have done approximately 5 to 10 repetitions, we're going to stop in the neutral spine. Now, neutral spine is the position where the tips of your hips and the pubic bone are in the same line. You see, if I'm pushing the pubic bone up, the index fingers are becoming higher than the hips. If I'm overarching the back, then the pubic bone is going in the lower ground than my hips. We are looking in the place where hips and the pubic bone are in the same line. Once you achieve this, you're going to push the area between the shoulder blades down till you feel nice tightening of the abdomen. At the same time, make sure that the shoulders are not being pulled over the ears. So keep maintaining the space between ears and shoulders. And lightly place the arms on the ground with the palms facing each other and push the arms down. This is your active position. Everything you do in Pilates starts from this alignment and engagement. In case you have some back problems, you are going to modify this position just a wee bit. So we are going to press the back into the ground where the pubic bone will go a little higher than your hips. This is called an imprint. So whenever you have a backache or any problems, keep using this position till you're able to get into the neutral spine. In neutral spine, we have a just enough space between the back and the mat to put the one finger between.